In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the different options we have when choosing how to download jQuery UI. On the jQuery UI homepage at jQueryUI.com, we've got three links for the different types of download. We can choose to download either the current stable package, which at the time this course was produced is version 1.10.4. This package is compatible with jQuery 1.6 and up. We can also download a slightly older legacy package, which gives us version 1.9.2 of jQuery UI, which is also compatible only with jQuery versions 1.6 and above. Both of these packages can be built using the JavaScript task runner Grunt. It's useful to note that the legacy package should be used with Grunt versions up to 0.3, whereas the newer package should be used with Grunt version 0.4 and up. Both packages contain a series of demos so that we can see the different components in action. If you want to help develop jQuery UI, there are also all of the unit tests for the library included in these packages. We get the base theme, which we can change later if we wish, but this is just to get us started. And we also get all of the individual files in both regular and minified versions that make up the library. And we get a rollup file that contains all of the components in a single file. These packages literally contain everything, the complete library, which is great for development, but probably not that great for production. Unless, of course, we are using every single component. To easily create our own production version of the library, we can use the download builder instead. This allows us to pick only the components we actually need, allowing us to reduce the size of the package considerably. The download builder is clever enough to include any files in our custom package that the components we choose depend on, and we can also build either the current or legacy versions of the library. With this package, we get all of the development files still, but we also get additional directories containing the single rollup file for our package, as well as the theme we chose, making it easier to pull these out and drop them into our current project. Let's do that now. Everything at the moment is selected. All we need to do is hit this download button. So once that's downloaded, we can go to the download directory. I've already set up the working files folder on my desktop here. Inside this, there are CSS and JS folders, and also all of the individual files that we'll be working with throughout the course in their chapter folders. So first of all, we want to get the CSS theme. So we need to go into the archive that we downloaded and go into the CSS directory. Inside, we'll find a folder with the name of the theme that we're using. By default, it's UI hyphen lightness. So we'll copy this whole folder and just drop this into our CSS directory. Now let's grab the script files we'll need. We can go into the JS folder this time, and we can just grab the script files that are in this folder. And then we just need to drop these into our JS folder. There's a couple of other script files that we'll be needing throughout the course. One of these is handlebars.js. This script file is located in your working files. So I've already downloaded a copy of this and placed it on my desktop. I'm now going to drag this into our JS folder. And there's just a couple of other files from the library that we're going to use as well. Let's go back to the archive we downloaded. This time we'll go into the development-bundle folder. Then we need to go into the UI folder. And then we can go into the i18n, the internationalization folder. We'll be using some of these when we look at the date picker widget. So let's just grab the files that we'll need now. We'll be using a French date picker, so we'll select that. And we'll also use the rollup file, jQuery-UI-I18n.js. So we'll select that too. And we can just copy these into the JS folder within our working files. So this is our development area set up now. In this lesson, we looked at the download builder and the different kinds of packages we can download in order to use jQuery UI in different situations.